Dogs, and I play left back. I grew up in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and it's a pretty small town. I grew up on a pecan farm, um, just like in a house that my dad built that was um, across the pecan orchard from my grandparents' house, and um, it was awesome. I had a great childhood. I started playing soccer when I was four years old. Um, basically, in the off season of baseball, that's what all the, the other guys were doing, so I kind of got into it as well. Um, and I just had a lot more fun playing soccer than I did baseball. I played both until probably I was about 12 years old, and then I had to make a decision um, if I wanted to play baseball or soccer, and I didn't want to let my dad down. He was like a really he was really into baseball and he was a really good baseball player himself and um, he told me I needed to make a decision but I just couldn't do it and then there was one day where they put me in the outfield of a, base of a baseball game and I was so bored that I started juggling my glove like as if it was a soccer ball and after the game my dad said that was it and I was done playing soccer. I went to Humboldt State University which is a small school in uh, Northern California. Um, it's Division Two. it's not Honestly, it's not the best soccer program, but the school itself is amazing, and um, it's in such a such a beautiful place that I honestly fell in love with it. It was the first school I visited when I was a junior in high school, and I verbally committed like after I went, like maybe a day after I, I went there, just because it was so amazing, and I just honestly fell in love with it. And um, I was there for four years, and I was really happy. I played for four years, and I remember playing my last game there, and just thinking this can't be it, you know, I, I, I think we lost our last game and I just had the feeling a lot of guys were really emotional because um, it was the last competitive game of their career, but for me I just didn't feel that way, I, I knew that I was going to continue going. I actually came to an open tryout uh, for the Blues um, in 2011 and I had played forward the whole time in college, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I came to the Blues and they converted me into a left back. They just wanted to see me play there. And um, ended up, I made the team and, well actually I made the practice squad and we trained for probably like three months before the team offered me a contract. I honestly, I, I don't think they thought that I was going to progress. But um, I ended up doing really well and playing a lot of games that year for the team. After 2011, I had an injury that ended my season, um, but San Jose Earthquakes had actually seen me play a few games and they were interested in me, so they invited me to come train. Um, I did, and I did well, and they invited me back for preseason, so I came to preseason and um, I impressed them, so they offered me a contract. That was in 2012. Uh, so I played the beginning of 2012 with them, and uh, they ended up letting me go in July. And um, so I came back to the Blues in 2012, played for another two months here, and then San Jose called me back up. And so I went back there and played with San Jose for the rest of 2012 and the beginning of 2013. And then I went to Atlanta, um, was in Atlanta for a year, and then came back here. I mean, obviously, we want to win a championship, and um, we want to win as many games as possible. We think that we, we have so much talent on this team that um, it would be a huge disappointment for us to not uh, do something special this year. But as far as personal goals, I mean, now I have like a family to look after and I think everybody on the team wants to make the next step in their career and that's what I'm looking to do as well. When I was in San Jose, I, uh, <laughs> the guys told me I was a rookie and they told me that um, everyone dresses up on Halloween so to come to the locker room so I dressed up as uh, I was like a Reno 911 cop um, and at the time I think I had a mustache which looked stupid but um, so I dressed up as a Reno 911 cop and had like a wig and everything and ended up I came to the locker room and nobody was dressed up and it was like a prank on me and so the coaches came in saw that I was dressed up and they made me wear the outfit to training and I looked like an imbecile the whole time <laughs>